Our church has sought to rise up to, to meet some of the social challenges that we are faced with here in our particular area. More than 50% of the people who live in this area are HIV positive. This has brought an enormous challenge to our community and to the social issues that we are faced with here at our church. Twelve years ago, I preached a sermon in the church and I asked the church what they felt would happen in our community if our community one day woke up and our church was not there if we just disappeared from planet earth overnight how long would it take the community to know that we were no longer there and that we were gone we had to be honest and say that we didn't think our community would even know that we had gone and so that question challenged us to say after 130 odd years surely we should have made some mark that was measurable by way of upliftment in our area. So that set us about thinking and we uniquely had God bring across our paths people who were HIV positive. A young man in our church, young man, uh, his name was Craig and he was found to be HIV positive and his parents invited me to, to visit him. This young man Craig made such an impact on my life and uh, I was privileged to be with him when he passed from this life to the next. But a few days after he, he died, his brother-in-law arrived at my office with an envelope. And in that envelope was about 1,200 Rand. Um, and in it was a letter from Craig to me with this 1,200 Rand, which is not a huge amount of money. Uh, and the letter just simply said, Trevor, thank you so much for helping me the way that you have. Won't you use this 1,200 Rand? And in brackets, it just said, that's all I have, because HIV had really trashed his entire life. Won't you use this 1200 Rand to help somebody the way that you have helped me? And so that was our initial deposit. 1200 Rand, we opened an account called Genesis, and then Genesis' first recipient fund-wise was 1200 Rand from this young man who just recently passed away. And that seed funding has led to an organization that is now impacting thousands of people across our community. And uh, we, we are just so privileged just to be a part of this amazing, amazing work. My name is Sharon Jones. I'm the operations manager of the Genesis Care Centre. We've been operating for 12 years. And in that 12 years, we've seen God do incredible things. It has grown from just being a one ward of 20 patients to 40 patients. Through this period, we've seen incredible development from developing just from a ward, offering step-down care, to having a, a full-on rehabilitation program where we offer physiotherapy, occupational therapy, a beadwork program. Our psychosocial team has developed and grown over the years. Our spiritual program has strengthened and deepened over the years. So as I look back over these 12 years, I'm so grateful to God for the incredible work that He has done here, the miracles that He's performed. Formed. Last year a man walked into our office and he was so smart, he was in a suit and we asked how we could help him and he said to us, don't you remember me? And we said, remind us? And he said, in 2009 he was admitted into the male ward uh, to die and he said that day he felt that God wanted him to come and say thank you to us. He is now married, he has two children and he's a manager of a furniture store in Port Shepston. And he was just thrilled at what God was able to do for him even though he was admitted to die. And I'm really very happy to be here. Um, it, this is what I like, to help somebody, to see somebody was, who came, couldn't do nothing. A person who came was wearing a nappy, but a person can walk at the two feet going home. My name is House. I come from Murchison. I started gymming back in 2008. 10, um, started gymming because I was really skinny and always got picked on in school and stuff like that. So um, the gym was something to, to make myself a monster, kind of, and make people scared of me <laughs> so that I don't get bullied and picked on. So through that, I got to meet people in here in, in Genesis, in Matchison, though. So Steve was there to, to teach us, like he did a Bible study in, in between the gym sessions. So that was life changing for me because besides being a monster, I just forget about that. And I just started gymming, started living my life with different people.
For me, this is a place where I, I come alive and forget about the society that I come from because there's a lot of negative things. House was my friend and he's been my friend since I was doing grade 10. And then he called me that I must come and follow DIA in Genesis. And that's really changed my mind. And even now I'm still working at Genesis with Sandra. And I would like to take a, a little quote that I got here in Genesis that I can do anything through trust to give me strength. Those words have been motivating me since 2013 and until now. Genesis will say that I've changed my life because now I can do anything I want. I, I can even support my family. We've got an after the school program is called Brand Booster where you will be facilitating English rather than the school they facilitate in, in Zulu. They, it helps these children that are lacking, especially in schools. They come here in the afternoons and we teach them colors and how to read and write and it helps them a lot because then we give each student time you know, and attention. They grow back. We teach them to grow things on their own. And with the skills, the skills are helping the community members to learn how to sew, how to do beads and stuff for their own so they can be able to sell it. That way they can be able to sustain their families. We give out food, pa food parcels once a month uh, to very disadvantaged families. Some of the families uh, are just children headed, they don't have parents, and some of them are just grannies raising their grandchildren without mothers and fathers. The Murchison Community Centre has changed lots of lives. It is a safe place for the, for the kids as well as for the gym um, guys. Kula in Zulu means to grow. So from humble beginnings to what we've got now, there's been a huge change. We've got the creche, we've got the beading, we've got a, a clinic, and now we're going into the educational part. We've also had community come in here to train them, them to go back into the community and to carry on with their children. Kula is a safe haven for a lot of children who have trauma in their lives. And they're brought here for us to look after from different places and um, they are cared for and shown the love of Jesus Christ and I mean they just develop. Genesis shows faith through deeds. Uh, Genesis shows love uh, to the people in the community. Genesis shows hope and faith and love to all the community outside there. Genesis shows God's love. So Genesis shows love. What we do often extend is an extension of Christ's love in a physical manner. Genesis represents faith, hope and love. <laughs>